Alright, cool. I just wanted to show you guys what I was doing with this concrete floor. I'm going to dye it, and I just wanted to go through some of what I had to do to get to this point. What you're looking at right now is uh, the concrete's been prepped, been scraped, been stripped. It's been all kinds of things just to get it down to this, this point. And what I was going to do is show you all, all the tools and stuff that I been using and uh, just kind of give you a little documentation on how this is going. So uh, let's see. First thing I want to do is show you all the tools. All right. So what what you're looking at right here is all all the tools I've been using. I've got some. I'll start off like where I started. What I did is I filled up all the carpet, took took out all the pad, and I wound up with some really messy looking concrete floor. I had a whole bunch of glue and uh, adhesive and uh, nails, tacks, and stuff, holes. And so what I did is I, I stripped it down, started scraping. I got a scraper here. I got a couple different wire brushes that I've already, I was using to just really get down and uh, scrape off all the glue. And this thing worked really good for getting in the corners and stuff. And I've got a, a little plastic trowel type thingy for whatever. Uh, flathead screwdriver. Uh, this little putty knife. Uh, the squirt bottle came in handy a lot. Uh, you might get to need one of these little scrub scrub brushes that goes onto a pole so you can really get down and strip the scrub and try to get as much of the adhesives off as you can. And then of course I used got a broom, a broom and a dust pan, uh, a vacuum. A Hudson, spray, a Hudson sprayer, five gallon bucket for uh, mixing your uh, cleaners and salt, uh, strippers and stuff. Some paint remover. Um, this little pry tool came in handy. And basically, that's pretty much what I used. I didn't rent a uh, floor stripper or anything, so I did a lot of the scraping myself. It was, it was a lot of work. <coughs> and uh, so I got it down to where I'm ready to dye the concrete and um, anyways I just wanted to show you this oh yeah you're going you're gonna to be using this a lot a mop so anyways I hope that helped out just wanted to show you guys the tools that I used to get to this point and then I'll uh, show you the application with the uh, dye alright well <clears throat> I'm just getting ready to do this, the uh, dye and what I've got here is, is the Hudson sprayer, and I've gone outside and ran water through it, make sure it's spraying good. And if you need to, you can go practice out on the, some like old plywood or something and get the spray pattern down that you want. <coughs> it seems to be working pretty good, and it's clean. It's, it's pretty much brand new, so I'm not really worried about it. If you got an old sprayer, you might want to clean it out real good, and have a rag ready for any drips or anything like that. So I'm going to start in one side and work my way one way. You don't want to start in the middle. You want to work one direction. And I also have a five gallon bucket of water right here. So when I, I'm done spraying, I can put the tip, catch the tip of this and put it in the water so it doesn't dry up on me.
looks like uh, it's going to take me another half a gallon or so to get this all sprayed down. And so now when I'm done, basically just don't want to puddle it up and keep your sprayer moving. And uh, if it's not moving, don't don't leave it in one spot. Uh, just try to spray it out evenly. Now I'm going to put the tip back in the uh, five gallon bucket of clean water. You know, refill. And I'll finish this up. All right, so getting ready to finish it up here, try to get you a little closer view of what this looks like, the surface. And uh, we got the, the rest of the diet. Should have enough to do the rest of it. So when I finish this, I'm trying to not let it dry in between the coatings here. In case I run out, I need to keep up with it. So it's important that you don't stop in the middle of this. And uh, you just kind of want to finish it all off at one time. And then let it dry according to what kind of stain or dye you're at with the fine. Check the dry time and make sure you don't walk all over it like this this little weasel. Hey, get out of here. Make sure your cat, cats and stuff aren't, aren't around uh, during the process. I don't think it's real safe for the cats. Anyways, uh, so let me finish this up and uh, get going. my pressure's getting low. I give the pump, pump it back up so it gives it more pressure.
And as you can see, I'm not going to be able to push stop on that recorder because I'm on the other side of the house now. So, just to finish this up, I'm going to have to run around and turn that off, but it looks like it's good. I'm going to go ahead and just stay off it and not drop, walk on it. And, uh, See how this lays down and how it all dries up. Back in the five gallon bucket.